Hey guys, it's me Surin, back with another video. So this is a video that was requested, but one that I've also wanted to do for a while. Um, my Pittsburgh Black Americans walking vlog went up on Monday, so I kind of wanted to discuss it um, this week. Uh, about flags. So we've done a fair bit of discussion about flags. For those of you that watch not my walking vlogs, but my sit down um, Black Americans interviews, you guys know that occasionally we sit in front of an American flag and that also occasionally we sit in front of an inverted American flag where the colors are not red, white, and blue, but they are black and gray. Um, for next season, I'm also considering using the Juneteenth flag, which I'm going to show you guys a picture of in a minute and talk about a little bit more. But uh, I wanted to do a video sort of discussing flags and the symbolism of flags and just kind of how do we feel, how do we feel about them, right? Uh, Something that we talk about all the time is that sort of a thing, I really don't know where this came from, those of you that maybe know can like drop it in the comments, but it's sort of a thing these days to have uh, flags in your bios on social media to sort of show uh, where you came from and you know where your ancestry is from, where your parents are from or where your family members are from. And something that I have seen a lot of Black Americans doing is adopting, putting the American flag uh, in their bios. I've seen this a lot on Instagram. Uh, I'm not on Twitter, but I, I've seen it. If I was seeing it a fair bit on Twitter before I was permanently banned. Um, and it's interesting because this sort of elicits a response <laughs> from people when you have an American flag in a bio. I don't have a flag in my bio, my bio personally because like there's very limited space so and I have like some other uh, information in mind but you know it's, it's sort of a common thing to include and yet the American flag is associated with racism <laughs> a lot of the times like it's it's associated with like patriotism um a lot of like white nationalism um white nationalists and like rednecks sort of and white supremacists really kind of like took over the american flag um which is really funny like Ma like maga and then like an american flag is sort of like a thing and i know now now too that when you like use certain hashtags um, Twitter and Instagram has also made it so that like certain hashtag phrases will automatically like attach an emoji and stuff like that. So you have a lot of um, sentiments and ideas that are attached to the American flag. So I know that like I've seen black Americans, for example, put the American flag in their bio on Instagram and then people be like, why do you have that there? Like, that's not anything to, you know, be proud of. And we've talked previously on this channel about this idea sort of that there's two Americas, right? Like there's two Americas. And I feel like in a lot of ways, I keep sort of coming back to this idea of that there are two Americas. There's white America and there's black America, right? So like when you say white power, it's not the same as when you say black power, right? When you say pro-white, <laughs> it's not the same as when you say pro-black, you know? It's just because of the historical context of who we are as American citizens and also as black people and also as black Americans specifically in that we are descendants of American chattel slavery in that we have been the backbone of the building of America, the backbone of American popular culture, of American music, of American sports, American media, of, you know, you know, American popular culture is black culture, which becomes global culture in a lot of in a lot of ways because of, of um, the idealization of America as this superpower, which we've talked about previously in terms of identity. That black Americans that put an American flag is really not the same as you know white Americans that are doing hashtag MAGA with the American flag, and yet in a lot of ways it is perceived the same. And I totally understand why. It's like, just if we have this sort of really complicated relationship with the country, we have this really complicated relationship with the flag. And I also re and I also feel like it's become, uh, within the last maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 years, maybe that's even being generous, but I'll say 10 years, eight, 
to 10 years. Again, kind of coinciding with the rise of social media. So many things I feel like coincide with just like the rise of social media and and changing in the way that people sort of think about things has also been sort of the making of the American flag as taboo. Because I can remember when I was younger, like black people and like, like loved the American flag. Like, like I remember American flag and like camo was like popping, like American flag print t-shirts. American flag print like bathing suits with like camo shorts or like the dream literally his name was the American dream and he used to do music videos wrapped up in the American flag dancing like dancing around like and I can really remember when like having the American flag like the stars and stripes on like t-shirts and stuff was like a thing there was like a whole brand like an urban you know streetwear brand that was called like stars and stripes like there was like a moment in time where the American flag was like considered like cool. And then that sort of shifted um, as the kind of global views of America shifted and rightfully so, understandably so, because like America, American imperialism, and again, like white America, I want to like really be specific that I'm talking about white America, because we also when we start getting to these conversations about America and the American flag and things of that nature, people love to say like, well, um, that black Americans are like a part of American imperialism, for example, and it's like, no, we're not like, even, you know, like we historically have not benefited from any type of government program in this country, from any type of government infrastructure in this country, from any type of militarization in this country. The militarization of the country is used against us, despite the fact that we are American citizens. The militarization of the police is used against us as black people. Like, it, we're not, we don't benefit from it in any way, shape, or form. Even black Americans that join the military, like, have historically been left out of infrastructure specifically created for the troops. The GI Bill and, and um, you know, all these different types of benefits that said, like, oh, except for those niggas, like, except for those Black Americans, oh, we'll have them, you know, we'll draft them, we'll have them be in our draft, but they have to be in, like, nigger-only sections, and, like, when they come back, they're not going to get any type of benefits, you know, like, living... Us living in this country and being, you know, concerning ourselves Black Americans and being, like, proud of who we are is, like, in spite of American imperialism, is in spite of American, uh, the militarization and the police and, you know, is in spite of the government, is in spite of the infrastructure, all of which was literally created with the intent of, you know, oppressing us and us saying, you know, we're black Americans, we're descendants of American chattel slavery, we have survived in spite of that, we have created in spite of that, we are still here in spite of that, and saying we're going to claim who we are, we're going to claim our ethnicity, we're going to claim our culture, and we're even going to claim, again, like, I think a lot about James Baldwin and, and, and the concept of a native son, right, like, that we are also native sons and daughters of this country and with what everything that that means. Um, And so do we not also have a right to the American flag in our own way? Now, having said that, we also do have the Juneteenth flag. We have that. Sorry, I was glitching there a little bit towards the end, but it looks fine. So this is the Juneteenth flag. Can you see it? This is the Juneteenth flag. So I'm going to read you guys what the Juneteenth flag uh, represents. The Juneteenth flag represents the history and freedom of the American slaves and their descendants. The design of the Juneteenth flag depicts a bursting new star on the horizon. The star represents a new freedom, a new people, a new star. The red, white, and blue colors communicate that the American slaves and their descendants were all Americans. So it very deliberately used red, white, and blue. It also very deliberately used stars and stripes um, what is the word, iconography, but sort of in a different way uh, to represent who we are specifically as a new ethnic group and as a new freed people here in the United States. A lot of people don't even know that we have a Juneteenth flag. A lot of people don't even know that Juneteenth is a holiday. I did a video a few years ago on alternative holidays um, that if you haven't seen it, obviously I'll include links in the description box. Uh, You can also see related videos by clicking on the I in the right hand corner. 
Um, but Juneteenth is the holiday that celebrates the ending of slavery and the emancipation of the enslaved peoples uh, on June 19th, which was the day that the very last American slaves were freed in Texas. And so I was talking to somebody actually on Instagram, we were discussing flags and this person actually requested like, oh, do I think I can make a video about flags? And this person said, the Juneteenth flag seems like it deserves more use, especially with its historical significance. It definitely is a parallel to the American flag, but how its symbolism coincides with the meaning of freedom and it's symbolizing black American freedom specifically. It's interesting that black Americans have their own flag because this allows you to differentiate and cement your identity in a global sense. And the person I was talking to was um, Afro PR, Puerto Rican. So they said, I'm Puerto Rican, so you already know how we feel about our flag. A lot of Puerto Ricans fly our flag because the US government used to lock us up for it. It was a resistance symbol during our civil rights movement. Although we are all Americans, we fought hard for the PR flag, and that's the folklore as to why we have the parade in NYC. I replied, it's funny because people have attached all this stigma to the American flag because of Trump and white racists, but I remember the American flag used to be popping. Like a American flag shirts and bathing suits worn with camo used to be the shit. And then I like look, I like Googled it and I like sent this picture. And I was like, I remember like stuff like this used to be popping. Like they used to be the wave. It's honestly because white racists have co-opted the flag and accepted it as a covert symbol. I can't lie when I see a Caucasian house with a flag or a truck with flags on it, I look at it suspect. And I said, they really co-opted it, which is mad annoying. And that's part of why I like using it on the show even, uh, talking about on the black Americans. That's part of why I like using it on the show even because we are Americans too. Why do they get to dictate the narrative? Why do they get to dictate the narrative? And again, it's like this weird sort of like, there's a weird dichotomy, right? Because like, when people immigrate to the United States and they like become American citizens, it's like this big like, we're American citizens. I want to say we got our green card, but I don't think that's what it is. Like, however it goes, like we're American citizens and like it's a big fuss. And like a lot of those people will like post with the American flag or like what, you know, stuff like that. And it's seen as this like sort of positive symbol, right? But when we as black Americans say like, we're not going to let fucking crackers dictate our narrative of like what we do with it it's like seen as this sort of negative thing again there's this like very weird dichotomy when it comes to us and our ethnicity and also like flags themselves as a concept are like all weird <laughs> they're like all weird representations of like nationalism right like all flags all all flags all countries all everywhere has been touched by like colonization so like if you are a, a black brazilian i'm just like using that as an example if you are like a black brazilian right and you like have the brazilian flag and you like speak portuguese like portuguese is like a colonizer language like that's a colonizer language from portugal which is like in europe and like you know so it's just like and like brazil itself has like this really weird history and this like historical context with like slavery and also like the white ruling German class in Brazil and like all this types of stuff. But like, it is fine to like rep your Brazilian flag. And, and I think it's fine too. Like it's cool. Like it's totally awesome. You see people all the time that are like British that have like their like Brit flag or whatever, you know, and like they just have like Brexit and like all types of stuff, you know, and, and like Europe and like England itself has like this long sort of history, obviously with like colonization and things of that nature. But that's seen as like fine. It's like something very specific to America, right? And it's just like, it's cool to hate America right now, which is fine. Cause like it is a God forsaken hell hole. But at the same time, I kind of feel like, but it's our God forsaken hell hole. And <laughs> Those of us that, you know, are, you know, especially descendants of American chattel slavery that were, that, you know, were born here and are, are native to this country at this point in time, what is our, we have a claimant, like, we have a claimant to the flag as well. And again, it's like weird, it's like a weird thing. 
it's like a weird duality of how like if I was not from here and I moved here and I became a citizen like I used to work for this lady that was Canadian and she like moved to the United States and she like became a citizen and she like bought a big ass American flag and like put it in front of her house because she was happy because she had became an American citizen and that scene is like totally fine but me being a descendant of American chattel slavery that was born here, that my family has been here for so many years, that would not be considered okay. And again, like, it's not that I don't understand, like, why. It's, it's this is why I wanted to make the video, because it's, like, really an interesting topic. It's a thing. And there's also another version of the American flag that is meant to be the Black American flag, which uses the uh, red, black, and green colors. So I'll go ahead and show you that. I, me personally, I prefer the Juneteenth flag because I feel like the Juneteenth flag represents something a little bit more specific. And I'm also quite fond of this flag with the inverted colors. This is me and Danielle. <laughs> if you guys remember the Black Americans rally, I really like that one as well. I'm, I, I think I'm going to get uh, a Juneteenth flag and I might also possibly get a Black American flag um, and alternate between the regular flag, the inverted colors, the Juneteenth and the BA. But it really is sort of a, well, I do think that kind of like the uh, conversation that we had on this channel about like changing last names. Some people feel like, you know, they, they don't want the last names that they have because they feel like, you know, those are vestiges of slavery and it's inappropriate. And then you have other people that are like, you know, that's who we are, that they're totally proud of their last names. Um, and they want to remember and they want to hold on to that, which is a personal choice. Again, I do think it boils down to how you personally feel about it. But I think it is just like a really interesting conversation to sort of have. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, there will, of course, be links to related videos in the description box. Um, yeah, curious. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this topic. So feel for that as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. See you guys next time. Peace.